and go. Okay. So what do I love most about art? I think I love just the potentiality of art and the fact that there are so many possibilities. So you can never get bored with anything, you know? If you go to a job every day where you're just kind of doing the same thing over and over again, you get bored. But art's just got infinite possibilities and there doesn't have to be... Nothing has to be specific. Nothing has to be... Um... It doesn't even have to make sense. It doesn't even have to make sense to the artist, you know? I mean, you can put something out there, think about it for a while, look at it later, tweak it, work with it, whatever. I've been trying to do that lately, just not judging whatever I put on the canvas, you know? Because mostly when I start painting too, I'm mostly just interested in the color. You know, like the color affects me. And so I put down a color and if I feel icky or weird about it, I'll just put something else over it, <laughs> you know? Smudge it out, give it some texture, add a little brightness, add a little darkness, you know? Um, I think that's what I like about it. There's no... Um, there really aren't any rules. There can't be rules with art. I mean, you learn certain rules in school about art, but you can't stick with those rules because then you're not being creative. So the process of creating art. Yeah. That's exactly what it is. It's just creative. And I've come to realize that about just different art forms too. Like I think, okay, I can make a painting. That's a composition. But it's the same thing with writing, making a song. It's all composing. It's all creating something. Like even when I'm, you know, I'm playing the guitar and I'm definitely not a good guitar player. <laughs> but every once in a while I'll pluck a couple notes, even just as a mistake. And I'm like, ooh, that sounded good wow, I just created something that I liked, you know? And it was just a mistake, it was an accident. But if I wasn't trying it, it never would have happened, you know? And so not stopping yourself, not just stop yeah. keep going. Yeah. And I mean, you know, you don't have to push yourself if you're not motivated though, because sometimes that isn't good either. It's like, then you get, I don't know, sometimes I think that can block you more. I mean, it's a lot, I've read a lot of artists, about a lot of artists who've said, you know, you just have to get up and do the work. But it's like, well, if that doesn't feel important to me, if that doesn't, if my energy doesn't feel good when I'm doing that, why do that? Why not go do something else where my energy's gonna feel good while I'm doing it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so I don't know, like when I think about being a wor like a working artist too, it's like, could I really do that? Could I just drill myself to just get up every day and start making art? if I wasn't in the mood for it, or... Yeah, because I also feel like my best work happens when I'm just being spontaneous. You know, if I try to do something, it just looks, <laughs> it looks like I'm trying <laughs> way too hard. Mm -hmm. And then it's not any fun anymore either, you know? Allowing. Yeah. Mm-hmm.